my name is Stavius Beck, and today I'm going to demonstrate some tricks and tips with the launch pad using Ableton Live. Uh, as you can see, we're outside in an undisclosed location. We have no power, but we're still able to create music on the fly uh, with the beauty of the launch pad. You don't have to plug it in, uh, so it's very portable. What I'm going to show you guys right now. I've been using the launch pad for my live, uh, my live set. I recently toured in Europe, uh, did about 15 shows with just my laptop in the launch pad. And I'll show you a couple of things I did to make my set a bit easier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play some music and I'm able to crossfade between my different tracks because I've assigned the crossfader on Ableton Live to a row of buttons down here on my launch pad. Okay? So I can slide from one track to another. So I'll demonstrate that as I'm playing. Um, you can also use that same function to assign a row of uh, buttons to a knob uh, with other different parameters. So with my auto filter, I can sweep through my filter going through this row of buttons. Um, I'll demonstrate a few things for you. So let me just play some music, all right? Here we go. And as it's playing, I'll just trigger some other plugins too. And see, just like that, you can crossfade from one track to another. So the beauty of the launch pad is that it doesn't have knobs, you don't need knobs. You know, you can emulate the function of a knob by using a row of buttons. On top of being able to trigger all your clips, on top of having a mixer mode where you can control the volume of different tracks, just by sliding your finger up and down like that. So you have a ton of control. That's the main reason why I took it out with me. All this fits in a backpack, get on the train, roll to the gig, and get ready to play. Moving just a bit and not moving just a bit and not moving just a bit and not.